Good morning, afternoon, or evening, and welcome back to Edenia. We're playing some more Sky Factory 3. So last time we set up the uh, mob box. Uh, it's rather full at the moment. Uh, I've had an explosion here already, so it's not quite safe. As you can see, uh, because we're on eye level here, creepers can just spawn in the way. Which is not the best, but, you know, it works for now. There's a zombie over there. Trying to get his attention. And the idea is that this is going to be safe. And then we just walk in. Grab the uh, grab the drops and block it off again. It's not the best, but it sure is working for now. I'm getting some, uh, some mob drops as we speak. Uh, we're going to need some of this zombie flesh to turn into early game leather. And we're going to need, what's it called? We're going to need a drying basin for it. Drying basin is any kind of black dye, a couple of logs, and two iron. Which is not, uh, not the worst, but we do need to save up for some of that. Um, also, I've made some grout, uh, two and a half stacks to be exact. Uh, here is one cooking up right now. This is going to produce some seared bricks. Uh, we've got some glass and some stone cooking over here because we're going to need a bit. I've expanded the platform just a little bit. Just to get us a get us a head and to make a furnace because we're going to need at least uh, one Tinker's Construct furnace. Later on, I'm going to make furnaces for every uh, uh, for every sort of alloy that we want to make. Um, but for now, this is going to be we're just going to have one main furnace and we're going to pump some stone into it so it uh, it will automatically create seared bricks for us, which is great. Um, Cobblestone gen could really use an upgrade, but I'm going to save the iron ore pieces we have because we've just about enough. If we have these four iron ore chunks being pumped into a Tinker's Construct smeltery, then we'll be able to get eight ingots out of it instead of, um, instead of four, and that will mean that we can upgrade this cobblestone generator, which would be amazing. It will be double as fast, and it will have double the in uh, internal capacity, so that's great. Uh, we've got some glass now, we've got some stone, so we can chisel the stone to, there we go, chisel the stone into, what was it, road we're using? Yes, we're using road pieces. Love these pieces, uh, got a lovely texture to it, it's nice and clean, it's crisp. There we go. Not everything is going to be a road though, um, we're going to have uh, platforms consisting out of other blocks as well, uh, but this... Um, yeah, well, this is not really a road, is it? Huh. Because this is a road, actually. Uh, let's see what kind of other textures there are. Oh, we could do the dented. Those are really nice. Weathered bricks, also very nice. Um, we could go for encased bricks. Jelly bean. Huh. Big tiles. Arrayed bricks. Braid. Layers. Mosaic. Mosaic is very nice to look at as well. Uh, Ornate chiseled bricks and uh, panels. Panels are really good as well. Trodden bricks. Those look really interesting. Let's take a look. Trodden bricks. Uh, they're, uh, they're a bit too flavorless for my kind, uh, for my taste. Uh, we could, of course, do the um, poison stone. No. Uh, Chiseled bricks, where's the bricks? Oh, this is just all chiseled stone, right. Uh, I think we could do with... Um, uh, oh, these look really nice. Oh, yeah, yeah, it will make uh, those knots. Oh, that's very good. That's very good to have. And let's see, there's uh, probably some more. Ornate chiseled stone. I think the other uh, layers is really nice as well as a flooring. Huh. Yeah, you know what? We're going to convert these back into road because we're going to use road a lot. But we uh, we desperately need some more textures to go with all this grey. Uh, we might just incorporate another uh, another block altogether. Like, for instance, some wood. I do believe wood is chiselable. Chiselable, is that a word? Yes. These are blinds. This is braid. Uneven vertical, right? Nailed planks. 
fancy crate, large oak planks, vertical oak planks, fancy. Yeah, there are, there are options, uh, certainly. This is braid. The braid looks really good. It has the um, uh, some bricks on the side and some bricks straight. I love it. Um, all right, so we've got a couple of chiseled stone. We could put this back in the... Uh, in the trunk. Uh, by the way, there is an easy way to upgrade these chests to uh, to small crates, as I've done in the Hermit Pack uh, series as well. Probably going to do that soon, but we need a dedicated tree farm. But first things first, we're going to need to make this stinker smeltery. First things we're going to need is the brain of the smeltery, also known as the smeltery controller. Uh, we're going to need a tank with any kind of glass in the middle. Uh, we need at least a casting table we need at least a casting basin we need at least two drains two of those and we need some faucets at least two as well so that's exactly uh, all of the seared bricks I had all right so let's uh, let's put this down this is going to be the basis um, right smeltery controller you're up first and I'll place the tank on top of it. I'll have two drains. This is not the way to make a minimal uh, minimal smeltery, by the way. This is just the way I like to do it. If you really want to make a minimal smeltery, you can make a one by one nowadays. Uh, and I think it looks terrible. <laughs> so yeah, we're not going to do that. I'm just going to reclaim these bricks. There we go. Um... We do need some light over here, so let me uh, plonk a torch down. No, not there. We'll put the torches here for now. That's going to be fine. Um, we're going to need some more seared bricks, of course. And while these are cooking away, we could, of course, split up this stack. Uh, I've got... There we go. I've got a bit more ground to cook. We'll cook it over here. There we go. Those will become seared bricks. And as soon as this smeltery is running, we can just bump in stone. We don't need to actually create grout for seared bricks. We can just bump it in as we please. So there we go. Um, some more bricks, please. Thank you. Uh, what we're going to need now... I think this is the basis of it. Now we just need to create actual bricks like these. And these actual bricks go into the building like so. You can also use seared stone, you can use seared uh, creeper face, seared cobblestone. You can use all sorts of things uh, instead of these bricks. But for now, the easiest for us to make is the actual bricks. So, yeah. Oh, if you put a cobblestone in and you sear it, it will take a little bit of seared stone and it will convert it into seared cobblestone. That's news to me, actually. So yeah, there's a lot more to this mod than the, uh, meets the eye. Uh, let's see some more of these, and these can be turned back into bricks. This is going to be a rather tedious, uh, uh, tedious thing to do, so I'll be right back. So I'm going to make the build slightly different. I'm going to move the sear tank to here, so that I can later fill it on from the bottom. Uh, because it's very important to keep your um, to keep your um, furnace filled with lava because lava is going to be the fuel source for this thing. So keep filling up your crucible with stone. You'll get there eventually. Um, what we're going to do now is we're going to fill this one up with a bit of cobblestone. Now this cobblestone will be used. Oh, come on. Cobblestone will be used later to make bricks. Uh, we're also going to need to make some gold. Uh, I've got two gold ore chunks right here. Uh, because we're going to need those to make casts. You can make aluminium brass as well. But I think... Um, I think personally gold is not used for enough things to keep it interesting. We've got some more bricks. Just a couple. Uh, let's see if we can make the second layer. That would increase our production by two at least. Well, not really. It's uh, it's not the best right now. We'll uh, plonk a torch down right here because it's a bit dark on the inside. Uh, our stone is going to be seared. We're going to put in the gold and the uh, the gold and the uh, the iron ore chunks as soon as we're done. And we're going to need to make one brick. Uh, we can make a brick from the clay we've got left. Yeah, 
No biggie. All right. Two saplings will produce one clay. You can also transform these into tiny charcoal or mini charcoal as it's called. Uh, these will burn for 200 ticks, which is just enough to do one item. So that's great. Uh, we'll lay down this one brick on the casting table and we'll grab the gold and we'll make a nice mold out of it. Um, I don't know why this is not working. Of course it's not working. It's on the wrong level. <laughs> we need to actually get this to the right level. All right, that's the iron. Just dipped in for a bit, but it didn't face me at all. All right, so first time it's going to go like this. I'm going to have to have the faucet on here. And we're going to have to hide the table into the ground a bit. There we go. Let's put the uh, brick on top and let's smelt some bricks. There we go. Now this is going to make a cast that took two ingots worth. And now we can put the stone in and make some seared bricks like this. It's going to be a bit tedious, but it's faster than grout. Yeah, there we go. And we can automate this if we have a redstone clock. Sadly, we don't have any redstone at all. Uh, at least not yet. We're going to have to sift some dust to get it done. For now, I'm just happy we can have some some seared bricks without making and uh, making grout and therefore hammering sand, gravel and dust. So that's great. Um, I'm going to uh, build up another layer at least so we can put this back where it belongs. And I'll be right back with you. Alright, so that's on. Now we can get rid of this for a second. Place a brick down and put the drain back in its place. Now we can have the uh, faucets at eye level, which is just a bit more pleasing, if you ask me. Now, if you don't give anything about the looks of your, uh, of your smeltery, uh, you can pour out the stone in block form immediately because the seared stone you'll get, seared stone, these seared stones will work uh, just the same as seared bricks. You can have them as part of the smeltery. Uh, I just don't like the texture. I like the texture to be bricks because it, it is a brick oven. So yeah, I'm more of a of a brick fan. Let's place down a torch because uh, it's gonna get uh, it's gonna get dark upstairs. Now let's pour out the ingots we've got for the uh, for the iron. There we go. This is gonna take a while as well, but we can upgrade our cobblestone gen with this. And in well, maybe instead of yeah, maybe instead of upgrading our cobblestone gen, we might want to look into upgrading it, actually. Uh, no, not upgrading, automating it. That would be great. So, um, you know what? Let's uh, put this in front. There we go. You know what? I, th I think I'm going to make a hopper. Because a hopper is one of the easiest early game uh, methods of automating it. And it's completely vanilla as well, by the way. So, I really love that. Um, hopper, there we go. Take a look at the hopper. It's five iron, yeah. Uh, you can also make a hopper hock, which is uh, which is a flower. It takes a rune of air and a redstone root. Uh, but this requires some basic Britannia, and we don't have basic Britannia set up just yet. So what I'm going to do for now is I'm just going to pour out some stone, fill this back up. Every now and again, I'm going to grab some stone, fill it up, and just pour out some bricks. For now we'll have to do this uh, the old fashioned way, by hand. Also, if you look at the recipes and you're not stupid like me, uh, you can just pour it in block form and look what happens if I craft these and then craft these again. So these will become pavers and these will then become bricks. So look at that, you can just make bricks on the fly without having to do the uh, ingots all the time like i did for ages i've done this for years now <laughs> and apparently i've done it wrong so let's uh let's put another uh another layer on uh, on top of this there we go we can later exchange these for glass that's all fine and dandy but having an extra layer will really uh up our production right now it has tripled our initial production so we can fit a lot of uh a lot of stone in here there we go. We might as well want to uh, up the controller one level. 
You know what? Let's uh, let's do it. Let's do it quickly though. There we go. And place this down and the brain back where it belongs. There we go. Let's fill it up with stone. Now it's on eye level as well, and I really love the aesthetics. Uh, that's why I'm not using the uh, the standard. I could use uh, could use these fancy bricks though. Ooh, that's really lovely. And what happens if I craft this again? It will become squared. It will become triangle seared bricks, seared creeper face, small seared bricks, seared tiles, seared road, back to paver, and back to seared bricks. All right, so it will cycle through all of its variations, which is very nice uh, actually to have. Uh, I think I've lost my. Uh, I think I've lost the contents of my. Uh, <laughs> Of my smeltery there, that's a bit of a bummer. All right, um, we could use some ladders uh, to put on the back of this smeltery. Um, yeah, let's do that. It's, it's a really good, uh, really good idea. So we can, uh, we can even throw mobs in here, uh, which is a feature of this mod. If you throw a mob in here, you will get um, a raw meat. Uh, if it's pigs, you will get pig iron and. All sorts of in jokes like that, uh, but you can also throw in mobs to uh, to get blood, and blood will function as um, uh, what's it called? Blood will function as slime uh, slime balls. So that's really good to have. Uh, yeah, let's pour this out. Let's uh, get some more of these stones. And if you need individual stones for uh, for four sets and whatnot, you can just pour them out here. That will be fine. So let's make another one of these casts. Uh, these Casting tables, there we go. So now we've got two casting tables, which is going to be great. Um, so yeah, let me uh, let me just make some more blocks for the top, and I'll be right back. So I've been doing a, a, a small bit of sifting, and I've gotten, gotten a couple of metals, but, you know, it's still not very much. We need a better way to, to get all of this stuff out. Um, for now this will do though, uh, I'm just going to grab some metals and we're going to make some more dust because we need to get some redstone. Now one way to get redstone, uh, let me just put it back on node because this is what I'm trying to make, uh, a transfer node for items and I need to get some redstone and I need to get it from sifting from the heavy sieve, it takes dust in an iron stiffened mesh or a diamond stiffened mesh or one of those iron meshes from Excompressum. Uh, which you can't make, I guess, because there's no recipe for it. Uh, anyway, the heavy sieve, uh, that's where it's at. We're going to need to make an iron stiffened mesh, which is four iron and five strings. We've got that. We've got plenty of materials for that, so that's good. Uh, molten aluminum, we can make one block. Or is it aluminium? Probably depends on your uh, language setting. <laughs> All right, so we've got we've got aluminum, so that's fine. Uh, we've got some silver as well, just a bit less than a block. There we go. Silver is, I think, very quick to dry. Yeah, there we go. All right, let's put the copper in because we still need some copper as well. There you go. This block of aluminum will go here. Check. Now it's empty, we need to wait for the copper. So we've got some bone meal as well from the sifting, which is fine. We can use that later on. Uh, let's make one of those iron stiffened meshes, because we're going to need one of those. Let's get this one out. I believe it's done by right-clicking with an empty hand. Shift right-clicking it is. And if you have anything in here, in your shield slot, it will not uh, count as an empty hand. So we might want to be wary of that. Um, this is going to be fine though. Uh, so we've got the flint stiffened mesh. We need to hang on to this because we're going to need it later on. And we do need to make an iron stiffened mesh now. So that's five string. There we go. It's going to be iron in the corners, I bet. And five string down the middle. Come on. No, it's not that. Is it something like this? Yes, it is. Great. All right. So let's put the iron stiffened mesh in. Uh, that's the least we'll need to get redstone. I believe we can also get it by using a diamond stiffened mesh. Yeah, it will drop the, it will up the chances, but we don't really have uh, a lot of diamonds right now. So yeah, here comes the fun part. 
we're gonna make some dust. Really hoping that seven compressed dust will give me the redstone I need. There is a bug with redstone not appearing correctly, so I'm, I think I might want to stand on top of this. As you can see, it bounces around just a bit, and I'm really scared of it flying off the edge. Uh, I recently made a ring of magnetization in Britannia Basics episode 17, I believe it was, of Hermitcraft. We've got three redstone, great. Oh, that's good. Um, but yeah, I think we're going to make uh, something like that uh, very soon, because we desperately need to uh, <laughs> need to do something about that. Uh, so if we chisel these... Oh, we've still got some uh, wood in here. We can't chisel the bricks. That's a bit of a shame. So we need to smelt some more stone. Uh, actually smelt it, not... Uh not in the smeltery because it will turn into seared stone, which we can't use. And we'll be able to make one of those then. We need some uh, normal stone for that. We need some glass and some stone slabs for the transfer pipes. And then we can make a transfer node. Now, what we want to do is we want to automate the lava intake of this, uh, uh, of this smeltery. We've got a hole in here and the hole leads to uh, the tank. We're going to need a fluid transfer transfer pipe like this, and we're going to need a item transfer pipe, or transfer node, I mean, to get items out of the cobblestone generator. So, it's a couple of steps, but I think it will be worth it immensely. So there we go, 16 transfer pipes. Now we can make the transfer node for items if we grab this chest. There we go. It gives us four, which is really nice. And now we can also... Oh, we're missing a bit of redstone and a bucket for this. So we're not going to be able to make the fluid one just yet. We'll just get a bit more... Uh, a bit more dust to sieve and we'll be ready to go. There we go. Some fluid transport pipes as well. Uh, we do have a bit of clay left, I believe, somewhere. Yes, we do. Because we're going to need to make another crucible. And there we go, put it down, pick it back up. Every now and again I just automatically grab some of this uh, some of this lovely stuff, uh, some of this cobblestone, which is going to be the building block of our world, of course, so we need quite a lot of it. And we're going to, no, not in here, we're going to need a crafting table. We're going to make one of these unfired crucibles, because we're going to need these to actually produce the lava. There we go. This is taking not too long. One crucible. Thank you very much. And what we're going to do now is we are first of all going to make some more stone wands because we're fresh out. And we have two sticks left. We have two sticks exactly. Uh, it is turning out to be quite a mess in my chest, so I am going to need some uh, some cleaning up sooner rather than later. We do need a bit of cobblestone, by the way, because we're going to expand out the platform there we go so we're gonna go this way just a bit this is done we're gonna grab a new one here we go you too um how are we gonna do this we're just gonna stretch it out a bit further there we go i believe we're nearly there Yes, we're there. All right, now we're going to complete this. One more. Yep, there we go. All right, let's place a torch. Uh, let's place some torches in the corners, rather, because not getting complete coverage over here. Still not getting complete coverage. All right, that should do. Fine. Um, there's no wood nearby, which is great. There's the seared tank. We need to connect up the seared tank with some transfer pipes. So there we go. And the crucible is going to go somewhere around here, I guess. Yeah, that's, uh, that's a really good place. We'll just have it one higher because it will have to be stood up on something. Uh, now we can, of course, use a torch. If for our needs, a torch will do just fine. We do have to place it right. Torch will do just fine. 
Uh, if it were any other uh, any other lava uh, generation method, I would probably not use a torch, but some actual lava. For now, we don't really need to worry about that. We're going to need a transfer node on the side. And we're going to need an item node somewhere close as well. Uh, where's the transfer pipes here? There we go. Now this will carry the lava that it creates and take it up there. So if we want to demonstrate, we could put in some of this. There we go. Now you'll see this will take the lava out and take it up to the tank as soon as there is a, a certain amount of that in it. But now we need to make sure that there is actual stone being put in there. So let's uh, grab this cobblestone generator, but not this actual one. We are going to create a new one. Where is my bucket? Uh, did that take the bucket actually creating it? I think it did. Luckily, there's multiple ways to make a bucket. And I believe that we have some aluminum. We're not going to use aluminum a lot, so let's use it to make a bucket. Uh, one bucket of water transformed into a fresh water. And one bucket transformed into lava, uh, along with a bit of glass. It was one glass, if I remember correctly. Um, there we go. There we go. Glass. And something like this, yes. Now we still can keep the bucket, which is nice. And this cobblestone generator will produce lava for this crucible. Um, we could put it here, I guess, and put, a, put an item node on it. I believe that works. Will that work? I'm very, uh, very tempted to know. These can exist in the same block space. Great. Now a transfer pipe is all we need. This will fill with cobblestone. Yep. And it will fill with lava as well. The lava will be transformed. Uh, not transformed, but will be taken up, which is great. Uh, what we can do now is we can use a transfer pipe to uh, put cobblestone in a chest or anything like that right here so if we ever need some spare cobblestone we don't have to grab it from here but we can just take it um, we don't have any wood left nothing at all so we are going to need some more trees right let me plant some real quick there we go some actual crates these are really really nice for having uh, around the base uh, one of these is going to go here, so every uh, all the excess cobblestone we get will go into this crate. Uh, the rest will go into this crucible where it will be melted down into lava. Uh, we do, we might need a way to uh, funnel off the excess lava as well. Uh, you know what? Excess lava can go into uh, what kind of tanks do we have? Um, wow, there's a lot. Uh, how about a fluid tank, one of these, that's iron, iron bars, and some kind of glass. I hope it's not the quite clear glass, because quite clear glass is made... How is it made? <laughs> I really can't tell how it's made. Oh, it's made in an, uh, by glass in an alloy smelter. I hope that's not the case. Otherwise, we could make one of these, I think not well yeah we do with the iron ore pieces we've got we could make it um you know what let's try let's try and make this this is filling up nicely very well um we've got some more lead why not we've got some nickel we've got a lot of gold gold is really good to have copper too and the rest we don't have enough of the rest fine We've got some molten copper still. Uh, we should get we should get it out really, uh, and some ingots. I don't know if iron uh, alloys with copper, but I'm not risking it. So let's get it out quickly. <laughs> there we go, last one. Nice. It's going to be a block of copper, which is oddly greenish, teal almost. All right, well, if that's uh, if that's how it's made, then that's fine by me. All right, let's pour out the iron. 
There we go. We could make a we could make a fluid tank, I guess. That wouldn't be a bad move, would it? No, because we can use, we can always use it for something else later on again. So that's going to be fine. All right. So that's the iron. Let's get uh, let's get the nickel in and the gold. Pretty sure nickel and gold don't uh, don't do anything together. Blocks of iron take their sweet time to uh, to harden out. There we go. Block of iron. Uh, that means that we can make one of those fluid tanks, probably. Uh, we need a bit of glass. Let's hope it's the right kind of glass. Fluid tank. Oh yeah, it will do. Great. So now we've got a way to store excess lava as well. How much will it hold, actually? I I can't tell from the tooltip. Let's just plunk it down see what it does. Um, if we plunk it down here, it will probably work, right? Yeah, it will It will take lava. Great. Uh, doesn't tell you how much it will hold at all. Well, you know what? We're just going to have to wait. Uh, we've got some modular tanks as well. Get your tanks here. Oh, we, we could have made one from planks in a bucket. <laughs> all right. Well, uh, something to... Uh, to know for next time. I just knew these fluid tanks from Ender.io, so I thought, yeah, well, that's going to be fine. Uh, this only takes four buckets, though. And probably, yeah, it's flammable, so it wouldn't have worked with lava. We would have needed to make a stone one. One of these. It doesn't really say how it works. Modular hardened clay one, it's tier one. Can't make this one, apparently. It doesn't tell you how, at least. Um, huh. Tank keeps its contents when it's broken. This looks like a really fun mod to use. But... Yeah, well, I, I should have looked it up earlier. Uh, we've got a tank now, which is fine. We, we can have some access lava. And... You know what? This is fine. This is all fine. Alright, let's, uh, let's see what we've got here. We've got some gold. We could leave the gold in because we don't have any silver to smelt. Uh, let's pour the nickel out, though. There we go. Let's get the nickel out. Two more ingots. There we go. And we've got some lead chunks as well. Let's try and get rid of it all before it, uh, before it does something stupid like alloy with anything. All right, so these crates, they're really good. They say small, which is, <laughs> it's really not that small. Um, we could automate this, by the way. The uh, We could automate the ingot pool. That would be really nice. Uh, let's see, two transfer nodes, and one transfer pipe. That will do. So if we do something like this, and we'll do something like this as well. Can we reach the crate? Yes, we can. So I believe this will automatically pull out any and all um, ingots. And we could do the same with the fluid uh, fluid pipes as well, I believe. So we will automatically pull out anything it has, if it can, if we do this. So yeah, this has got molten gold in it, and this has got molten gold in it as well. Uh, although this will cause problems, yeah, this will, uh, because, because it will not pull out every bit of gold. This does seem to work, though. But now it's, uh, it will have less than an ingot, yeah, that's the problem. That's going to be a problem, though, yeah. All right, uh, I'll have to figure out how to do this later then. Uh, I, I believe it's as easy as just putting in a... Uh, uh, we could just put in uh, only one of these. That would be nice. And then this will be the manual one. That will work. But we could also put a redstone clock on these faucets. And I believe that works even better still. Uh, for now, this will have to do. And I just realized there's a very easy fix for this. Just have two more pipes, one above here and one onto this one. Uh, you can also have this, uh, you can also have multiple casting tables anywhere, really. Um, 
but yeah, if you if you fear that there's going to be um, going to be just a bit of fluid left in here, just do it like this. Uh, you will not waste any metal at all. Um, so that's really good to have. Uh, we really need to make some more of these chests because they're amazing. We need eight chests. Uh, I realized this too. You can make chests easily like this. Um, if you have enough wood, that is. And we don't really have enough wood. So let's uh, do a bit of this. Yep, there we go. And done. A bit more wood. So let's put this in. The crafting table let's get some more chests let's upgrade these bam there we go two more of these perfect small storage crates they are amazing i'm put i'm going to put all my metals in here because they will eventually auto drop in there as well so that's going to be fine i'm going to get rid of these chests uh stuff is going to go all over the edge i'm afraid not if we do it like this that's great awesome pick these up uh, put it, put one of these down. Or do we want to keep the original chests here and just not use them anymore? <laughs> you know what? I like that idea, actually. I like the idea of having a nostalgia platform. So, yeah, there we go. We're just going to put all of this crap back in. Uh, I'm going to keep the loot bag because we're going uh, we're gonna to open it to end the episode. We're far over the end of the episode already. So there we go. Put these in. Torches, uh, sticks will go into here along with the flint stiffened mesh which we're not going to use but we are going to keep and yeah let's open the loot bag so what do we get in this rare loot bag it's probably going to be sh well it's not too bad a void crystal sword and a golden chest transporter um i'm going to hang on to this because we're not going to use the sword and we might want to uh, upgrade this to an epic loot bag or even a legendary loot bag so yeah um if you don't grab anything from the uh, from the sack, you will be able to upgrade it to the next level, which is really nice. So, yeah, thank you very much for watching this episode of Sky Factory 3 here on Edenia. If you did like this episode, feel free to leave a like. And if you didn't like it, don't. <laughs> or just press the dislike button. It doesn't really help the channel, but at least you're being honest on the internet. So, once again, thank you for watching. Have a nice day.